Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Dana Pulsifer. I am a mom of a cute little seven month old girl and her name is Zara and I live in Austin, Texas with her and my husband. So that's a little bit about me. If you are new, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are new or old, give this video a thumbs up if you like organizing videos because I do. Okay, so true story, it is 11 o'clock at night right now on a Friday night and I will one, have nothing better to do, but also two, I have this really weird urge to organize my bathroom. So we live in a kind of small townhome here in Austin, Texas and we have one full bathroom and it is teeny tiny and I thought I would bring you guys along and show you how I organize it. So... It's definitely a mess. I'm gonna be showing you some clips right here, right now, of it. And I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm gonna be cleaning it, reorganizing it, and things like that. So I thought I would show you like my tips and tricks of what I do to get through a bathroom, and especially with having a small bathroom, how I organize it specifically. So first things first, I'm going to just clear it out, to be honest. I'm gonna get rid of all the towels and put those in the wash and get my little cute shelf thing out like out that has all my things in it and I'm gonna start on underneath the sink so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> guys you're underneath my sink so this is kind of what I first want to tackle it's underneath the sink it is a complete disaster I'm gonna show you it right now we've got towels makeup things all up in this business and honestly this is just absolutely ridiculous I need to I need to go through, get rid of stuff, reorganize things. I have nail polish in here that is like at least four years old. Disgusting. And it just needs to be needs a good clear out. So this is what I'm thinking with organizing. With the bathroom, since there are multiple people in this teeny bathroom, there's me, my husband, and a baby that all share this bathroom. And we all have a bunch of random things and just different things that we need in here. And especially me. <laughs> but I'm thinking I wanted to, to divide it all up into like baby items womenly products, makeup, first aid, summer things, hair care, whatever it may be, I'm going to start dividing. Okay, now that I have everything that was in here <laughs> divided up into sections, which I will show you right now, I have like womenly products or like cosmetic-y like, like Q-tips or cotton pads in one section. I've got baby things, I've got all my hair care products together, I have toiletry bags, makeup bags together, everything is together. Now I'm actually just going to put all of this on hold 
And since it is divided up, I'm going to go through these drawers. I like to use these type of drawers in my bathroom. You can get these at Target, Walmart, wherever they have them. They're super easy and super convenient. I really like how they're clear so you can see everything that's in them. Clearly, wow, this needs a nice little clear out. So I am going to go ahead and get started on that. Well, I like to divide these drawers up into like sections. So the bottom drawer, I like to do like travel essentials. The second drawer I will keep as extra products that if we have like two deodorants, one that we're not using but is for the future, then I will put that in there. And then the top drawer is what I typically will put like my extra um, like beauty items so face masks nail polishes things like that this is actually going a lot faster than i thought it would which i'm really glad about because i don't want to be doing this all night long but I just went through and got rid of anything and everything that was either empty or pretty much almost em empty that I knew I wouldn't use or things that have like expired, things like that, like face masks that have or just anything of that matter. So, and I also went through like my cosmetic bags and I got rid of ones I don't even ever use. So I only have now, I went from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to three of them which these are the ones that i always use whenever i travel so i get the best ones now some other things i need to go through i've actually just recently went through my makeup on a separate occasion so that i'm gonna leave i like to use another one of these like clear plastic drawers which i will show you as well um, I think they work really well for makeup I want one of those really pretty like clear plastic ones that like all of the beauty gurus have here on YouTube you can get them at, like at the container store and stuff like that but they're expensive and this works just fine for me right now and plus I don't have like a pretty place to display my makeup anyways I have a teeny bathroom so it just gets shoved underneath the sink so nothing I can really do about it Time to tackle this bad boy. I'm gonna try to specifically show you guys kind of what I did to organize underneath here. As you can see, it seems like there's a huge mess, but I swear it is organized. And I have like all behind here, like my Finola products, which I did a video on that last week. And I have all my sham purple shampoos and other shampoos and conditioners that I use. Uh, every once in a while put back here I have the rest of my shower and then I have some baby products here I oddly have a lot of like period things for someone who has not had their period in 
over a year, like a solid way over a year, whatever. We're going to keep it for when it happens. Baby problems. I've got summer things and more baby stuff, uh, shaving cream. I have placed up against here a little bath mat thing for when, when we bathe Zara. I have our three towels. I took this one down so you guys could see. I now think folding them in half again like this so they fit up taller. Then I can still close, this still closes all the way, which is what I'm looking for. And it just gives me a little bit more space <laughs> to put my curling iron and my hair dryer here and then I have my towels here. So, and then right here is where I keep my makeup always. This is in that little container and then all of my stuff back here where I have like extra products or travel essential things, this extra products and just random little gadgets and then all my face masks and cosmetic things, just extra stuff, you know how that goes. And then above here I have like Q-tips, easily accessible, cotton pads, easily accessible. This is Tyler's razor trimmer thing and then the things that we never use or we don't use often are back here so that's kind of how organized it underneath here you got to do what you got to do when you got a small bathroom by the way my favorite uh, cleaning products to use is the Method brand. You can get this at Target. I just really like the smells that they have and supposedly they're non-toxic, plant-based, and power green technology. So these are my favorite brand. I use like all of their stuff pretty much to clean my house and specifically clean my bathroom. And the bathroom reorganization is complete. So here is what it looks like. I'll do a little pan over view of everything and like how the sink is organized. But I thought I would just quickly go over my favorite organizing like items to help me stay organized and keep organized in my bathroom. And the very first thing are these little plastic clear drawer setups. So I have this one to hold all of my makeup and then I have that other bigger one that holds a bunch of other random things underneath the sink. I think these work really well for just everyday organization. You can see everything that's in them. You can even label them if you'd like to. They're just really great and super versatile and they come in a bunch of different sizes. So whatever you need to customize your bathroom, these things are great. They last a long time and they're super durable and they aren't that expensive either. My next organization item that I really love are these baskets. Now baskets are really fun because you can customize them to look super cute in your space. I got a cute little gray and white one that I thought would look really nice. I really like how it's divided as you can see. So I can put toys in one, her little um, water cup and then her soap and sponge in the other one. It's all nice and divided up and what I like about this is that it's kind of like a synthetic material so then it's not going to like get gross as it gets wet since these are for the bath. So this works super well in placing it right in here. Then my next organization product is this wonderful shelf that I will pan through for you guys. I absolutely love this. I got this from Ikea for literally like, I think it was $12. Like super cheap, 
super easy to put together and I really love it because it helps me and my husband stay organized and it kind of gives us our own little space to be able to have like our deodorant, our toothbrush or our toothpaste, our brushes and face things and whatever it may be. I absolutely love this little shelf setup. It is been working very well for me and my family. Now, another organization tip that I really like is I will, especially since I have such a small bathroom, it's the little details that are gonna make all the difference. I get pretty soap dispenser and toothbrush holder. I think it makes a world of a difference to make your bathroom look a little bit nicer and cleaner. Now, another little tip is adding some greenery. This just brightens up the space, and I like to use very light and bright towels and shower curtains. As you can see, I have a white waffled shower curtain here. This just really brightens up the space rather than and kind of makes it feel a little bit bigger rather than including it in and making it feel and look smaller than it already is. I mean, let's not do that. So I really, really love the color white for a bathroom. But if you do want to add a pop of color, I would suggest doing that in your hand towels here, especially since hand towels tend to get really messy with removing makeup and just different things like that. Hand towels are great to add that color and especially with your greenery as well. And then my last organization tip is definitely the shower organizer. I love a shower caddy type of thing, but I like this one in particular because it hangs over top of the shower head. It just works super well. I've been using these things for years, even when I was in junior high and high school, and honestly probably elementary school. I always remember having one of these as a, as a kid, and I think they work super well to be able to hold your loofahs. I'm a big loofah gal, and just all of your little products and extra things that need to have a place. And yeah, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big old thumbs up if you like organization videos and cleaning videos. I know I do here on YouTube. I think they're really informative and kind of give you different ideas of how to organize your space, especially with, I don't know, I feel like I live in a time where I'll be renting for a little while and I feel like the, my viewers are as well and renting typically means tiny bathrooms so especially with city living it's teeny bathrooms and that's really about it and you have to get creative in your organizing space. If you guys like my videos definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future uploads and that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!